Carbs got me fired up. <laughs> if your waist begins with a two, eat. So we're just out here in my garage. My Aston Martin. But you know what matters to me more than Aston Martin? Knowledge. Because knowledge is power. What's up guys? We're out here. What's going on? Got our coffee. This is where we grind. District 28. Welcome to the first episode of our new series, Shredded Strength. Before we get started, here's our little advertising, so to say. So this is our Patreon. We haven't even talked about this ever, done anything. But two fantastic people are supporting us. Shout out to them, you know who you are. It really means a lot if you found it. So Patreon, Patreon sorry, is basically a little site where you guys can donate to help fund us to make better content. Anything we would get, we would put 100% back into the site. And uh, there's different pledge levels. And if that's something you guys would like to do and you like to support us, please feel free. It would mean a lot. Coffee is the secret. A lot of coffee. Why are you doing a shredding series if you're doing a powerlifting comp, aren't you? June 18th? You can't get strong and shred it. It's impossible. What sayest thou? <laughs> Shredded strength. That is the theme. Uh, it's impossible, so some people will say. But we're going to take the best calculated approach to make it happen and make it a reality. Because of this, we're going to have to give Rising Re Legends a rest. Rising Legends has been amazing. You guys have seen us go through the process of becoming a lot stronger um, individuals. So now we're going to actually be starting to cut. Get ready for a powerlifting competition, which is a month and a half from now. We will be gaining strength. Getting a bit shredded. Let's go. It's sick because we have two objectives that majority, I'd say 90% of people have. I'm going to show you to do it. And we're probably going to start it off with our little talk about carb refeeds versus uh, cheat meal days, if some of you are here for that video. We're just gonna dive into that now. All right, so the battle, we got carb refeeds, then we got cheat meals. Now, a lot of people do cheat meals. Cheat meals have been very popularized. It's something you'll see quite often in all regimens of sport, powerlifting, um, bikini, especially in the figure world, like the bodybuilding, physique, etc., etc. You'll see them. It, it's a good excuse for them to binge out and finally crack to all these cravings they've been withholding themselves from. Chances are you're scrolling through Instagram or you have that one friend who's always buffing, but uh, they have 10,000 calories in one day. The issue with this is you gotta think of food and total intake in a weekly standpoint and a consistent standpoint. By doing something like this, if I'm having if I'm spending my weekly allowance of $10, if I'm spending $8 of it in one day, I'm gonna have $2 for six day, and this is bad because you're monopolizing your budget in one day or doing more damage and going into debt, hypothetically. Here's one potential case where an individual is having 3,000 calories a day to get off of their old baseline maintenance of 3,200 a day for a total of 2,450 a week. Because of this cheated 6,500 calories, they've effectively achieved nothing considering that their old calories would have been 2240, leaving them in a surplus of 2100 calories. This is the fault that a lot of people will buy into and it ends up ruining them and make them run in circles. Who would benefit from a carb refeed, Kyle? Generally, someone who's in a deficit, which means that your total daily expenditure is higher than the amount of calories you're eating. So also, if your carbs are decreased and if you're getting ready for a show, if you're extremely lean, you can definitely benefit from using a carb refeed. So what does a carb refeed actually do? All right, so before you get all frantic, a carb refeed is exactly what it sounds like. So this is when you're increasing your total volume of calories, mainly through glycogen rich foods, i.e. complex carbohydrates, but this can also be simple carbohydrates if you have a big refeed. Refeeds will usually uh, be in the range of about 50 to 100% of your daily carbohydrate intake. Therefore, if you're having about 100 grams of carbs, you're gonna be anywhere between 150 to 200 grams of carbs. But I'm dieting. I can't have that many carbs. Carbs are bad for you. Have you seen my hips? <laughs> it's actually a really good garlic bread. Garlic bread is my favorite food. I could honestly eat it for every meal or just eat it all the time without even stopping. <laughs> you get fat. No, why would I get fat? Bread makes you fat. 
Bread makes you fat. It's so the point of the carbs and to make sure you're not going too far over is you're actually gonna lower restrict your fat. I usually recommend about cutting it in half. Now this is gonna help bring down the total intake, but you do wanna keep in mind that you do not wanna turn this into just a high carb day. It needs to be a carb overload. For this to be effective, you need to be going over your recommended amount to really stock up on leptin. So let me get this straight, on a carb refeed, you don't eat whatever you want? All right, so here's where the key distinction comes. Carb refeed may sound a lot to you like a cheat meal or a cheat day, but that is exactly not what it is. It is so far opposite of that. It's a controlled, calculated approach and overloading on your glycogen levels to stock up that leptin as mentioned before. And leptin is responsible for your energy levels and restricting cravings. So if your leptin levels are in the dirt, chances are you're gonna be feeling real sluggish, weak, you're not gonna be getting adequate pumps because of the lack of carbs if you're very low. So this is something to keep in mind. So from a bodybuilding standpoint, a lot of people will start with their leptin levels like moderate, average, and then by the end of their prep, they'll be down to the ground extremely low. And the leaner you get, generally speaking, the more times you're gonna have to refeed. It's energy in versus energy out. This is going against everything you've taught me. So this does directly go against the idea of energy in versus energy out. But what you gotta keep in mind is this is different because what you're doing here is you're refeeding and replenishing this leptin. Now this one day you might gain a little bit of weight on the scale. Some people don't, but this is very rare. But if that's you, you're a very lucky person. You're gonna gain a little bit of weight, maybe a little bit of fat, the teensiest, weensiest amount. But the point is it's gonna refresh you and rejuvenate you to help you attack the rest of your week oh. effectively. However, don't overdo it and abuse it or else you won't see any weight loss. Yo, Rich, brother! Screw the eight hour workout, let's go 16, man. Coach told me to up the carbs by whoa, double the amount. Whoa, 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 whoa. Carb refeeds are to refeed. You wanna rest, have a normal day, you can do your workout, you're gonna have extra energy, don't utilize it in that day. Back to the in versus out, we wanna make sure the in is more than the out, otherwise you're defeating the entire purpose. So give them a try. I'm gonna have to say carb refeeds knocked out the cheat day or the cheat meal, and that's for sure. Time to crush a quick little workout. What do we, I think it's like max effort upper. I'm gonna go for a close grip PR. We'll see how she goes. Knowledge is power, baby. Knowledge is, knowledge is only power when applied. Say that again, it's true. Knowledge is power only when applied. It's not power if you just have the knowledge. It's <laughs> not power in abstract land. Yeah. It's power in application. That's an intro. You know why? Actually, no. I'll show you what I have right now. The reason why I have this on the camera is in case it ever falls. Or, or we do that. What, or yeah, or if we. Or I'm an it, idiot and I film too close. Right Kyle's a it's champ. A box, but it saves it, man.
Tom likes to do these with one arm on his hand. He likes to be looking down. This is similar to a concentration curl, except you do not need a bench. Call me hey. 